So, I need something big to uh, fix that shelf up over there because I want to make a new set and um, I don't really have a hammer. So I thought I'd use this. It's supposed to work in that way, I guess. In um, I actually don't know how it's supposed to work. Um, well, we'll see. Apparently, uh, hammer. Hammer time. <laughs> Anyway, um, well, that was uh, that's what happened when you buy a cheap ring from a uh, hawker on the street. That's what happens. I should have. Uh, That <laughs> I don't. So I guess I'm supposed to imagine a hammer or uh, something. So uh, here it goes. Um... focus. Welcome to Let's FX, the place for newbies, indies, as well as low budgeters. Today, guys, we're tackling a much requested and probably one of our oldest requests ever. This comes from New Age Outlaws, where he asked for a Green Lantern power ring effect. Now, I've been wanting to do this for a while, although I've been scratching my head and my face wondering how to do how to go about doing this effect now the, there's one problem when it comes to this effect there's so many ways you can make it look cool but there's no reference material really and if you're saying wait a minute waste there is a green lantern movie over there well no there isn't and if you take away that movie which you should the only thing really left is the cartoons and it's very hard to really translate an animated piece into live action so what i decided to do was take my own spin on it combine that live action piece of garbage with the cartoon and try and make something that'll look not only realistic but also actually it can't really look realistic because it doesn't exist anyway something that looks good believable but also doesn't look too cartoony at the same time and so i tried my best and i hope you guys like it because i do and i think it worked out pretty well so here's how you shoot your footage so when it comes to footage, there's not much you really want to do except make sure that you have something visible on your finger that you want to track. Now obviously this is a Green Lantern power ring effect, so having a ring on your finger would definitely help whether you make this ring out of cardboard, whether it's your own ring, anything like that, as long as it's visible on your hand in the shot and there's some contrast around it. Now the reason we want contrast, as you can see, is a bit of black here and you can definitely distinct, it's very distinct that there's something on my finger. The reason we want that is so that head foam has an easier job of tracking it and when we apply the flare, it'll stick to it more easily because if it's not and it's blending in with your hand and the rest of the shot, you're gonna have to manually keyframe it and it may look a bit jumpy and definitely ruin and the whole selling point of the effect. This time I've decided to pack everything into a download pack and in this download pack you basically have the presets that make this effect much easier. Now the reason I decided to do this is because there's a whole bunch of effects involved in making the hologram look for the actual object and a whole bunch of different settings involved for the different flares that make up the main flare. So I thought why not make it easier for you guys and condense all of those into a download pack that contains presets. So down below you'll find the link to a download pack which you can download that contains two flare presets as well as a Green Lantern hologram look preset that you can apply to your images. Speaking of images, along with the presets as well as your footage, you also want to go onto Google and find a PNG image of the object that you want to be emitted from your ring. Now the reason I say PNG image is because it doesn't contain a background. Now if you do have a particular image of something, maybe um, something that's in your short film that you took a picture of, you can either shoot it on a green screen or a blue screen and you can easily do that by printing out a page that has green and blue on it 
and then key it out and you'd basically have a PNG image or you can just take a photo of it and then rotoscope or just mask out that image or that object and you'll have a PNG image. But I was lazy and since this is just a random skit or sketch at the beginning of a RegFX episode, I just went online, found a picture of a hammer that was a PNG image so it had no background, imported it into head film. Speaking of importing into head film, I'm really tying this up nicely, aren't I? Take your footage, take your PNG image, import the presets and by the way um side note again if you want to know how to import presets i did actually teach you guys how to do that at this timestamp in my color grading presets episodes if you want to check that out definitely check that out over there and at this timestamp so check that out import the presets and then import your footage as well as your png image into hitfilm express and i'll see you there Here we are in HitFilm, what's new? Oh hey, guess what? My footage is here as well as my desired PNG image of a cool object. Great stuff. So, as discussed beforehand, you're gonna need to download the pack in the description which contains the presets I made for this effect as well as install them. Remember, as I said, click the info card above to see how you install presets as I did cover that in a previous episode. Okay, you got that? The presets are installed? Great, let's get going. So here we have my shot. Now the first thing I wanna do is track my ring over here. So let's create a new point layer and name it Ring Track. We can then, with our footage layer selected, hit the controls panel and click the plus icon next to tracks. The tracking window will pop open like a really cool surprise party and we can get started. Move the boxes over the ring and hit track for really standard stuff guys, I mean tracking in its simplest form right here. Okay, if you need to help your track along, do so, but once it's completed its trackiness, let's select our ring track point down here in the tracker window and hit apply. Boom! All done. Next up, create two planes. Make them both black and also set them to add while you're at it. Okay guys, now for the really, really hard part, so pay close attention. Head to the effects panel, locate the presets. Drop flare one onto plane one and flare two onto, listen carefully here, plane two. Whew, damn, that took a lot out of me. And that's the hard part, all done. <laughs> You serious? Okay, all jokes aside guys, let's customize this a bit. Ooh, actually before we do that, I want to be able to move both my flares at the same time. So to do that, it's easy enough, let's create a new point layer and name it Flare Control, or for a more accurate name, Candy. Head into the hotspot position control for your flare layer and then parent it to the point. Do this for both flare planes. Now when we move the point, both flares move accordingly. Speaking of moving the point, let's move it over our ring and parent it to our ring track so that it stays attached to said ring. Wow, that's a lot of rings. Ring, 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 ring. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's pretend that that, that didn't happen. Now, like we tried to do before, modify both of the flares' intensity and scale settings so that it fits your ring. No! No, 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 not, not again. And that's the flare part done, dudes. If you want to animate the flare in and out, just animate the intensity from 0 to 100 over your specific amount of time, like I'm doing right now. To sell the effect a little bit better, we can also create a grade layer and then drop on the curves effect. We'll do this so we can add some lighting to our face so it looks like the flares from our ring is actually being emitted onto our face and creating some accent lighting. All we gotta do in the curves effect is just boost that curve up a bit and make it look all nice and bright, as well as add in some green, and maybe take out some red and some blue as well, just to make it look a bit more well, green. Then let's grab the freehand mask tool and draw a mask around ourselves, a bit of our hand as well as any nearby objects and feather that mask heavily. And also guys, another simple step you can do is you can also fade this grade layer in using the opacity in the exact same way as we did with our flare intensity. Okay, now for the projection. Let's drag in our desired PNG image and immediately head to the effects panel and drop on the color preset. Boom! Instant, well, oh, um, wait, oh yeah, um, set the blend mode to add and boom! Instant, okay, that's looking a little faint. So let's duplicate it a couple times maybe, adjust the glow settings a tad, hmm, maybe up it a bit here, lower it smudge even there, 
And uh, yeah, that's looking like boom, instant okay. Let's just make that into a composite shot actually. Call it hologram projection. Head back and boom, oh, come on, are you kidding me? <sighs> Set the blend mode to add once again and boom, instant green lantern hologram. <sighs> that did not turn out the way I expected. Well, moving on, let's animate this sucker. So I'll head to the point in my timeline where I want my hologram to appear, then turn on keyframing for my image's scale property. We can then set that all the way down to zero and move forward, say about five frames, then set it to around 10% more than your final amount. So that's 10% more than your final amount. So example, if your final amount was 100, you set it to 110, because you know it's 10, 10 more. 10. Then advance 3 frames more and set it back down to your final amount, so back down to 100 in my case, or in this fictitious example. This gives our animation a nice fluid bounce. To add to that, let's turn on keyframing for rotation at the point where our image is slightly larger and make sure it looks good. Then head back to the start of our animation and twist that rotation dial a bit. This just spins our image a little bit as it's animating in just another sweetener. And for two more sweetness, set all of those keyframes to smooth as well as turn on motion blur for your image. And that, in a rather large nutshell, is it guys. To fade the flare out and retract your image back into your ring, it's the exact same steps, just in reverse, so I won't go through that here since we essentially already did. And that, my friends, is a Green Lantern power ring effect all done. So, in brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's Light. Damn, that's amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that episode. Definitely leave a like down below as well as share the video with all your mates and tell them that Green Lantern is cool. Not the movie, but this episode, which I am officially submitting to Warner Brothers to officially included in the canon of the DC Extended Universe. Uh, Warner Brothers, please reply to my emails. I've sent like 50, so just check your Gmail and um, should be there. I'll expect a email back. Probably won't happen. Also, one more thing before we wrap this all up, we actually have a brand new spin-off show called Red's Effects Action on our channel right now. Um, Red's Effects Action is sort of like Red's Effects, but we're basically tackling everything filmmaking related that's not VFX. So all the VFX will stay here on Red's Effects, nothing changing, good old Red's Effects, but everything pre-production and production related is going to be on Red's Effects Action. For example, our first ever episode, which you can check out right over there, is about lighting, how I light this shot, I show how my lighting setup works, and how you guys can use some cool tips that I give in that episode to light your own YouTube videos. If you want to check out another video right down below, we have another DC effect, which is our Man of Steel takeoff effect episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Check out those two, especially our new show. And also, if you have some suggestions for what you want me to tackle in Red's Effects action that's not the effects related, leave it down in the comments. Definitely, I'm really interested to see those. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Turn on notifications, give it a like, share, subscribe, all that goodness. We're almost at 8K at this point and almost at 10K as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay alerted.